Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. Recently, a Nougat Soak Test OTA came out for the Moto G4 Plus and many people flashed it on their phones. So I was also requested this video and I'll show you how you can go back from Nougat to Marshmallow. What you'll require for this is a device with an unlocked bootloader. You'll also need the drivers installed on your computer already. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for the drivers so if you have not installed them already, you can do that. You'll also need uh, at least 50% charge on your device. And the last thing is you'll need to download three files from the description given below. So we'll set up everything on the computer or laptop first, then we'll move on to the device. So first things first, some of you might have set up ADB already, but I'll set up ADB and fastboot also. So what I'll do is I'll extract the fastboot folder and I'll rename the folder as ADB because that's how I like it. And I'll copy that folder to local disk C on my computer. So ADB and fastboot are set up correctly. Now the second thing to do is extract the firmware file. So how will you get the firmware file? I'll leave links in the description for specific devices. Please download the exact same file for your firmware or it won't work correctly. So I'll extract it in the folder where I've installed fastboot and ADB. To make it simple for you guys, I created this bat file so that you don't have to type all the commands. You just have to copy this bat file inside the ADB directory where all the firmware files and the ADB and fastboot installed. So I'll just tell some information about the commands. If you don't understand it, it's not a big problem. You can go ahead with the procedure. So uh, why people are having problems with this is because the new bootloaders that Motorola is pushing out, uh, they don't allow previous bootloaders to be flashed on themselves. So you can't override the new bootloader with the previous bootloaders. So what I did is I just removed the flash GPT and bootloader commands and you can now restore back to Marshmallow. If that's a lot for you, it, don't worry, you just have to run the bat file and it will work. So everything on the computer part is done, we'll switch to the mobile. So as you can see, I'm running Nougat on my mobile and it's running completely fine. I've also made some comparison videos if you want, you can see them. So all you have to do is power off the phone and open it in bootloader mode. To open your phone in bootloader mode, you have to press the power button and hold it and also press the volume button and hold it at the same time. Then now you're in the bootloader mode, all you have to do is connect your phone to your computer. So if you have the drivers installed correctly, when you run this bad file, it will install Marshmallow on your device. When the installation is finished, the command window will close automatically and now all you need to do is start your phone. To select the start option, you have to press the power button once. The first boot can take a bit longer uh, at around 4 or 5 minutes but that's completely normal. So that's it for the video guys. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this and if you have any problems, leave them in the comment section below.